outside and one for the unintelligent as fellas get Listen, let's settle this, be clear I could fall back seven years Still it ain't no one ahead of me Consider it a blessing if you get to stand next to me Five star general, OG veteran What's up everybody, welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Today we're going to do a relationship advice and ask BioS3. I'm not going to say the dude's name, because it doesn't matter. I don't want him to be identified if he doesn't want to be identified. Um, it starts here, it says, I was hoping you'd help me out with the relationship issue. I've been with my girlfriend for almost two years now, and I found out when we first began seeing each other, she also saw another guy a couple of times. She's also chatting with people on Tinder and updating profile pictures. I don't know what the updating profile pictures has to do with anything, but... Um, I know this happened almost years ago. The fact that I'm finding out now is bothering me, and I can't seem to get it out of my head. I feel let down, betrayed, because when we started seeing each other, I focused solely on her, and now I'm thinking she was just going with the flow and seeing what happened. Uh, I'm reading into this too much, or am I reading into this or overreacting? Uh, we really appreciate the advice. We've been through a lot of life experiences. I know I've been fucked up and fucked over enough times. We're going <laughs> to probably be able to help you with this. Um, okay, listen. You're right. In the beginning, she was just going with the flow. But here's the thing. Just because you were a one page doesn't mean she was on the same page. So that means that you were thinking, oh, focus on her. I love her. I love her. And in her head, she's like, he's a great guy, but I don't know. I mean, how can I trust this guy? I mean, you guys just started dating. So, you know, it seems like you jumped into a full force, which I'm very much the same way. Okay, I will jump into a fucking relationship. I'm all about commitment. You know, as, as fucked up as it sounds, I'm the type of guy that likes to be in a relationship and not, you know, fucking running around doing shit. So, doing bullshit, you know what I mean, hanky panky bullshit, anyways, so, you know, she kind of, you know, she was talking to people, and she went on a couple dates, but here's the thing, she ended up with you, so, obviously, she chose you, okay, you picked her, but she chose you, okay, there's a difference, you picked her because she was the one that you're, ah, I'm gonna go with her, she had other options, and she chose you, so now, you know, and she really had no obligation in the beginning, honestly, to be telling you, this is what I'm doing. You know, unless you guys are together and solid and, you know, you're a couple, then, you know, maybe at that point, you know, even then she doesn't really have to tell you. She really doesn't. It's her business whether she was talking to other people when you first start seeing each other. Because there is no, like, definitive guidelines until you're in a relationship, you're in a trusting relationship, and you understand each other. What the fuck is going on outside of this fucking weed whacker bullshit? Of course, you're going to make a video, these fuckers got to cut the lawn now, right? So, you know, in, in my head, you're not overreacting. You found out something that, you know, it, it doesn't feel good to you. I get that. But you really can't hold it against her. Because in her head, you could have been seeing three or four other girls at the same time. Aaron and I have these discussions all the time. Like, we talk about, like, my view on women, her view on men. And we go back and forth about what we think is, how would a guy react? How would a girl react? But how would I react? How would she react? Etc. What we think is right, what we think is wrong. And a lot of times we're on the same page, but there are other times where things don't really match up. You know, like I'm sure that, you know, if Aaron was talking to someone before when we started talking, I'm sure she wouldn't be like, hey, Jerry, by the way, I'm talking to someone. Because she didn't know where the fuck our relationship was going. You know, if later on it, it seemed to be a big thing and she just fucking cut it off with him and stayed with me, what's the point of talking about something that really was nothing? It doesn't make any sense. Why bring it up? It's almost like you bring it up to try to shove it in the person's face or make them feel like, oh, you see, you won because you got me and they didn't. It doesn't make any sense to bring it up, to be honest with you. It wouldn't have done any better back then if she said she was seeing people. You would have got mad, hurt, all the things that you are now. But the thing is, you don't have the relationship. So she very well could have been like, look, if you're acting like this and we're not even fully together, fuck you. Then you wouldn't even be with her. Think about it like that. You know. So my opinion is she chose you. You guys are still together. Work through this together. Don't put too much fucking emphasis on it because it's not... It's in the past. You can't change it. And she's still with you. And um, she didn't do anything behind your back. She was just living her life, which you were living your life, but you chose to live your life a different way than she did. And just because yours, the, your life didn't line up with the way that she lived hers doesn't mean that she was wrong. I know this sucks and you're probably not wanting to hear this, but this is the truth. So best of luck and um, hopefully um, things work out and you don't freak out about this too much because there's no point. Biosetraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biosetraining.com is a blog. It's the don't worry about it bicep and we're out.